Okay, so this is my first video and it's just going to be a case study on gold on the 15 minute chart just from a back testing session that I did and I'm just going over what I saw throughout this range of price action. So to begin with you can see we had a nice low form um, at the New York London crossover which led to a nice sort of rally. We then didn't break below these lows so we built liquidity below this level and we had a change of structure here where price broke the liquidity here at this level so that was our change of structure which meant this was a valid order block for us here so we then marked this out as an area of interest for an entry and price made a high claimed this buy side liquidity here as you can see and dropped back down mitigated the order block which would have been a nice long entry and you would have wanted to have your entry just at the open of the order block stop loss either just below the order block or you could put it below this liquidity to be safe and then you would have wanted to target this buy side liquidity here so that could have been one nice trade you would have had price and broke structure to the upside which is a bullish sign and where did the bullish push come from so as we can see price actually stalled here and then went bearish and then broke this structure here and that was broken by this candle here was the last bearish candle before the structure was broken so this is our interest this is our block which actually broke the supply and where the bullish momentum originated from so this is what we're interested in for the future so this is marked and we keep this marked out price continues up and we have a new high formed and then a lower high so we're still in bullish market structure we then break structure again to the upside and we begin to form this trend line liquidity and we also form this sort of valley of liquidity here so liquidity is building up on both sides of the market and then we get a large bearish push to the downside which claims all of this liquidity sweeps it out the market so that's been claimed and we then have another lower high formed so we're still bullish and we form a high we then build liquidity below this level here don't forget price then breaks out of this structure from here which is our change of character to the upside we then form a new high and more trend line liquidity here and here on both sides of the market we then drop down and make an equal low with this low mitigate the early buyers before this large move up so that's a nice mitigation and here is where so we had our change of character and then we had a break of structure so this order block is highly valid and that's why we've got it marked out so this is where price originated from for this move to the upside we move on so here we form more trend line liquidity and we also have the liquidity from these prior equal highs on Thursday and Friday New York and Asia high perfect equal highs so that's a lot of liquidity sitting there plus we build this trend line liquidity just below it which is a high sign that price is gonna 
push up and break this. We then formed a lot of sell side liquidity here after the first push to the upside and back down. And then price came back, mitigated it, and taken interest in where the timings are of these big moves. So you've got London, New York crossover period. You get the large bullish push and price then breaks structure, claims the equal high liquidity from the prior um, week and makes a new high, which is here. And look at the time again at the London New York crossover. This is where there's a lot of volume increase in the market and the volatility is very high so the price is a lot more fluid and moves much faster and moves a lot more pips. So once we make that high we've obviously created liquidity here and um, buy side liquidity yeah so that's has to be claimed in the future so we dump off from there and we sort of have a bit of a consolidation period in a way this wick here was to mitigate the early sellers because on the lower time frame there's going to be a lot of smart money concepts sellers in this sort of area here as there'll be lots of breaks of structure on the smaller time frame and order blocks and there'll be lots of people that sort of took sells from this area and would have been targeting down here to probably this sell side liquidity or either of these wicks or potentially the fair value gaps so a lot of people would have been selling from there so this would have been to mitigate those early sellers before pushing down to actually claim the um, sell side liquidity and the trend line liquidity which we formed so that's why that wick is there as we see here we're building trend line liquidity for retail to get drawn into and we then form a higher low price breaks that so that is a change of character and we claim the trend line liquidity with that move as well form a low new low because we've broken structure again so new low here price pushes up makes a higher low which is here and the bullish um, bias still remains because we failed to break this structural low so had price continued down like this and broken this low then that could indicate that we may have got a lower high and then continued down but price didn't have enough bearish momentum to break this new formed low as of yet so that indicates we're still bullish so now that we've formed this high low from the new low we get a break of structure that then indicates that this is our new valid order block hence why it's marked out and we can expect price to come back and mitigate this order block before a nice bullish push so price then came up buy side liquidity formed and a new structure point so again you could have looked for a buy position from the open of this order block and stop loss just below the order block or below this low here and the target would have most likely been probably this buy side um, liquidity here so you would have had your TP there and that would have been your trade setup however as you can see in this case we would have been stopped out by this liquidity grab which quite a common thing as that is a bit of a smart money trade there so that's a stop out because price wanted to claim this sell side liquidity before this massive move to the upside because it doesn't want to have that many buyers in that move because it's such a big move so we've obviously got um, sell side liquidity here which was mitigated before the move so that's why that position would have been stopped out so we then get this huge huge 15 minute candle to the upside which forms 
a new high and as we spoke about earlier claims this liquidity from the previous New York London crossover and this new high is formed as we see and we then have a huge pullback which fills the fair value gap which is here so that fills that gap and balances price so we're back at an equilibrium fair value gap filled here that creates sell side liquidity again huge amount of sell side liquidity we have a push back up which just a sort of mitigation of again this gap formed in the market on the lower time frames that will have been a pullback to mitigate areas of price and then drop down and form a low here and also liquidity below here price then has a small bullish move and then we break to the downside which is change of character so we've had the change of character that then forms a supply zone from this last bullish candle which we mark across price and drops claims this sell side liquidity from the fair value gap fill drops down forms a low we then get a change of character to the upside but we didn't get any bullish breaks of structure as of yet in this area of price action so that means that buys are not yet viable okay and then we mitigate the sell side liquidity form a low yeah as we said change of character to the upside however no breaks of structure to the upside so buy positions aren't valid and we wait patiently we then drop down continue to claim sell side liquidity so we claim all of the sell side liquidity from that huge move to the upside we just saw and then price drops into our order block which we marked out previously from the initial move which broke structure and after our change of structure um, change of character sorry so this is where we have our buy position at the open of that order block we put our position we then have our stop loss just below that's quite a generous stop loss you could always move it up to sort of here and then have it a bit tighter if you want but I like to drop it a little bit further below just in case you get the odd spike through the area keeps you safe so it taps into the original AB and this is our entry so you can either buy at the open of the order block or you can set an alert say at the entry um, open of this order block and then come in and look on the lower time frames for this same price action so a change of character to the upside in our case here and then a break of structure and then use that order block from the break of structure as your entry point on the lower time frame within this order block and that would be a more sort of refined entry for you or you can just have it on the time frame you're on and set your order and your stop loss below and then just let price flow but for example had you been on the lower time frames you probably would have got say an entry here instead from on the lower time frames this would be some form of order block here and then you could get the entry there then you'd have your stop loss like this instead just below say that low and then it gives you a better risk reward and a tighter stop so but as you say it depends on your style of trading and your refining and how much time you have on the charts so I took the entry there and then we have obviously that was a break structure to the downside which obviously wasn't in our favour from the open so it wasn't looking too good here but we fully mitigate the order block at this point so that order block has been fully mitigated and then as you see we get a nice strong bullish reaction from the order block we get a change of character again to the upside which favours us we then drop down and we have a bullish break of structure which we can see here price breaks there which then means that this was the last buy candle here 
um, sorry, last cell candle before our break of structure. So we mark this out, as you can see, we've got it marked out. And price pushes up. We again have our entry at the open of the order block. So it would have actually been here because that's the first candle that mitigated it. So that this candle here mitigates our order block, taps our entry. We have our stop loss. 17 pip stop loss just below the order block and price continues and we get a huge bullish reaction from this order block which is lovely we then continue to break up structure to the upside and claim buy side liquidity again buy side liquidity breaks the structure now this is interesting price peaks at a point just below my take profit for this buy side liquidity here so my take profit area is here which is this candles buy side liquidity okay so I've learned from this that I don't need to always target the peak and the optimum buy side liquidity area because I should have noticed that price retraces the fair value gap creates this supply here which we spoke about earlier and that is then your supply zone so you'd really want your take profit to be at this level here the open of that supply as this is a bearish block for gold here so as, as you can see it reacted as a bearish block lots of wicking to the upside and that obviously confirms a bearish confirmation so price wicks into it very close to the take profit and rejects we then come back down and catch the early sellers with um, this mitigation wick here this wick here mitigates the early sellers and we continue down obviously at this point both of these trades were so close to take profit alerts would have gone off i would have moved them to break even and i would have taken partials at specific levels such as i would have taken some partials here when this liquidity was claimed and most likely would have taken some liquidity um, sorry some partials off at these sorts of areas which is the lower structures but the optimum TP level was obviously not met which is a shame and I've learned where to target in the future price then has a huge bearish rejection from our supply we had marked out knocks this one out at break even and continues to have some choppy sort of consolidation price action taps back into our first position break even and as we can see we learn again from this so price still respecting our bullish order block so we have one tap into it which is here so had we not moved the stop loss we would still be in this trade price then continues to chop and change around break structure to the upside taps into our order block again as we can see second time still respecting it not even going to the 50 percent level of our order block as you can see price came back claimed the buy side liquidity i'm sorry the sell side liquidity from the early buyers like me so it claimed it here and then everyone thought this was time for the move but then this liquidity was also claimed by these candles and then look what happens so we have the move into the supply here we create buy side liquidity we reject come back as you can see again London New York crossover huge liquidity huge volume so we have the big move originating from the beginning of the crossover then the huge move down then another huge move up and then throughout New York we break the supply zone we would have hit 
my original TP which was set here so we would have hit that and price then comes up just below our buy side liquidity we formed here on the retracement of that huge move earlier and then we have a huge sell off in the beginning of this week and now we're in a completely new area of price action this week which I'm yet to look at so I will do another chart breakdown in the future I'm going to try and do one a week and then just upload sort of what I see and the back testing and trades that I mark up and take and yeah just try and sort of explain a bit more about liquidity market structure order blocks mitigation and yeah just overall my view of the market and I know it looks very complicated but I hope I've broke it down in a way where you can understand each sort of section and see why I'm seeing what I'm seeing and how I've ended up taking this trade and this compounded entry and I hope you see why I made my mistake with the take profit and this makes sense about how you should target the supply um, instead of always going for the buy side liquidity because it normally takes a lot more momentum and volume to break and mitigate these buy side and sell side liquidity areas so that's why this supply was tapped and then price came back claimed all of the buyers from this area that, that I was in so I was one of these buyers or then it claims it and then we have more choppy price action and then everyone thinks it's off again and you got buyers here like you had here compounded entries again from this order block here I'll draw it out properly so as you can see early buyers me buying up hits the supply then as we can see we have this block here we have change of character there so that's our change of character zoom in quick so we have our change of character bish bosh then this makes us have a valid order block here and as you know we would have our entry at the open and stop loss just below take profit would obviously be well not in this time but say people are still targeting this liquidity like I was as you can see you would have got taken out at, well you would have hit stop loss but when it got to here and you'd broken this buy side liquidity here you would have um, gone to break even so that would be at break even you'd have been tapped out at break even so as you can see that makes sense obviously and then more buyers in this area would have been mitigated because on the lower time frame price action like this offers a lot of smart money um, positions and a lot of people enter and then overall this final push down back into the zone is what mitigates all of the buyers or most of the buyers and then the actual move occurred where we would have hit take profit so it's all about being patient and waiting for your opportunity to jump in so hope that's a um good first video and made a bit of sense and helped people out a little bit so yeah i look forward to filming the next one thank you